every single series of magazines from Hachette so far has uh, a unique mini for Warhammer 40k. Conquest magazine, that was technically the first. I think it came along the 8th edition of uh, Warhammer 40k. Had issue number 5 with a unique Lieutenant Calcis. The Imperium magazine that follows the Conquest magazine had issue number 5 with the Primaris Captain. I think it was nameless, but it had a really cool pose. And now we have a third iteration of uh, Warhammer 40k part work magazine from Hachette. And this time we have a unique Space Marine Sergeant, Inferno Space Marine Sergeant. This is the guy that we will be building today, this little fella over here. So let's take a look how it works with the magazines and uh, the minis. So we have our sprue over here. And we, of course, have some instructions inside of the magazine. So let's take a look. Okay, the instructions are clear. We start with the torso, parts three and four. This is bit number three. And this is bit number four. Bits three and four are cleaned up. So now we're gonna dry fit them and glue them. This is our torso so far. Next, they instruct us to go for legs 5 and 6. This is leg number 5, and this is leg number 6. The right leg is cleaned up. Let's try fit it. Should be sitting somewhere here. This is how it should be. Let's glue it. Here we go. This is the right leg attached to the body. The left leg is cleaned up too. Let's try to see how it should sit over here. It should be it should be sitting like this. There is a prominent lock over here as you can see. So I'm just going to glue it. Here we go. This is how it looks so far. And we follow the instructions over here. So they tell us that we should assemble this arm with the canister before gluing it to the body. Let's do just that. Bit number seven and bit number nine. This is bit number seven and this is bit number nine. Bits seven and nine are cleaned up and prepared. You can see there is a lock over here, but it is fairly small. So it should be assembled like this. I'm going to glue it. So we have glued the left arm. We will give it some rest. And in the meanwhile, we will take care of uh, the right arm, number eight. This is beats number eight. The right arm is ready to be attached. Let's take a look. So it should be sitting somewhere here, somewhat like this. Note that you might want to paint this arm first, especially these areas, before you assemble it, because otherwise it might be challenging to get to the tricky bits. I myself will glue it directly anyway. As you can see, there is no lock anywhere here, so we will have to do some judgment calls how to assemble it. It's not ideal, but uh, I think this is how it should look like. Let's see how the other arm should be attached. Should be somewhere here, over here, like this. Gonna glue it again. No locks here. All right, both arms are attached, looking fairly fine. We move forward. They tell us to do the shoulder pads, number ten and eleven. We start with ten. This is beat number ten. Beat ten is cleaned up. It should be sitting on the left shoulder over here. I'm gonna glue it. Looking good. Now to the beat 11. 
this is beat number 11. This is beats number 11. It has a small shield attached to the shoulder pad. And it should be sitting over here. I'm gonna glue it. This is how it looks so far. Very, very, very nice. We move forward to the Backpack 12. This is the Backpack 12. The backpack is cleaned up. Let's try fit it. Should be sitting here. There is kinda a look over here. There we go. This is our mini with the backpack. Then we select a head and put our mini on the tactical Tyranid head. We're gonna go with the head number one. This is the head number one, which is a helmeted one. This is our nice surgeon head with a skull on the forehead. It should be sitting somewhat like this. Let's glue it. Again, not really a lot of options here how to glue it, apart from the direction of his face. In my case, I ended up with this position, which I think is quite nice. And now we need to put Tyranid hat number 13 on the base. This is beats 13. B13 is prepared. Look at this head. It's on flames. This Tyranid clearly died from a Infernus marine weapon. <laughs> Let's see how it should be assembled with this guy. All right, so there is kind of a lock here, but it is so <laughs> invisible. So you have to try it and see how it will sit. When you, when you do this, you will clearly feel the right position. The way I'm gonna glue this, I'm gonna put some glue on this part. And then I'm going to, going to try to find the correct angle. Yeah, this is the one. So this is how it looks. This is how it looks in the end. Very, very, very cool. But you will have to you will have to try dry fit it first before you figure out the correct position. And now let's put him on a base. So it should be something like this. I'm gonna put some glue on his boots and over here. And I'm going to drop him directly on the base. If you can see, his head is roughly in the middle, if we project from the top. And uh, this is how he looks fully assembled. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? That's pretty cool. So our result is fairly close to what they have on a picture. Apart from the fact that we didn't paint it yet. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this mini looks incredibly cool. Looks fairly unique. Of course, it's in line with other minis of similar size of other space marines. Looking, looking nice. So, some final thoughts on this mini. Uh, really easy to assemble. I would give it 4 out of 5 service calls for assembly experience. Because in some places, especially for the arms, the locks were absent. So you could really move it too much. But other than that, the assembly experience is fairly fine. And uh, for the fun of building it, I would give it 5 service calls out of 5. Because it's a really cool mini. And uh, we have flames and burning tyranny hat over here. So I <laughs> can't really complain about anything. It is incredibly cool. This is a kind of a unique mini that you get from um, Combat Patrol issue number 5. I'm pretty sure these magazines are all over the internet these days because it is a fairly recent issue. So if you want to grab one, go ahead and do it. They're not particularly expensive yet. 
And that is gonna be all for today, my friends. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the magazine. Do you like the minis? Do you like the fact that they put unique minis in some issues of the magazine? And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Max is out. Take care. Bye.